This is Old School by Tobias Wolf. Um, came out in, published in 2004. And I read it um, more than a decade ago now, and it stayed with me. I think it's, it's, it's a superb read. And it, it, it's set in the 1960s, and, uh, and it's in a prestigious American boys' school, residential, um, which is kind of relatively liberal in many ways for the era, um, but it's snobbish in its approach to literature. It's that people are very, the boys are very competitive um, about their knowledge and their abilities to write as well. So they're not just reading, but they're, they're also writing. The uh, <clears throat> main character in this is a boy who wins a scholarship. So he's, str he's straight away plunged in with fee paying kids and he's, he's, cover he's trying to cover up his humble background. He's also trying to cover up his Jewishness. So there's those themes are in there. He's a very likeable character. He's ambitious, intelligent, insecure. Um, and so one of the features of the school is that the head teacher once had um, some, I forget what, some kind of connection with the literary world. And he's managed to um, persuade very famous writers to come and give a talk uh, to, to the school once a term and to present a prize. Uh, the prize is is competed for by the boys and it, it, it's a piece of writing which is judged by the visiting uh, luminary. So they've had an aging Robert Frost there, they've had Anne Rand and in the book uh, then it's building up to a visit from Ernest Hemingway, who is the hero of all the boys at the school, and particularly the um, the main character. And the prize for the winner is an hour's audience with the visiting speaker. So he's going to have an hour with Hemingway if he wins in the head teacher's study, or if the weather permits, in the head teacher's own private garden. I mean, it's something, isn't it? One of the um, <clears throat> one of the ways in which they try to teach uh, writing, it, one of the ways, and it, it struck me as really really strange, uh, but I can see perhaps the rationale for it. They sometimes when they're stuck and they really can't write and 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 they don't like what they're doing and they're just got they're blocked, they copy out um, pages from books that they admire and the, the, the kind of rather um, playful suggestion is just by kind of forming the words that a great writer has uh, formed themselves, these budding writers will develop somehow their talent to buy some kind of osmosis, they will kind of learn that pattern. So you've got, um, you've got a highly ambitious boy um, You've got the visit of Ernest Hemingway coming up. You've got an insecure boy who, not, who does want to win this prize. And you've got a practice of copying out from books, uh, which is sometimes employed in the school. So you can see where it's heading, can't you? It, it is beautifully written. It's, got, it, it's in a very light touch. It examines lots of debates about literature, debates that can get really tedious and arid quite often you know it, people often talk about novels and literature as a way to understand another's life to put yourself in the shoes of another etc etc those sorts of things and I've said that myself but the debate there is a debate we're saying isn't it better to go out and live and meet people work with people live with people isn't that a better way to understand people than reading about them in a book so that kind of issues um handled in here there is a debate going on in here. There's lots of stuff about literature, but it's it's done in such a low-key, clever way that it's just woven into the story. It 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 is it stayed with me for over a decade. It's 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 a brilliant piece of writing. It's quite a short book, um, uh, and you can lose yourself in it. And um, I, I I'm not the sort of person who reads books all in one go, like all those people, those reviewers claim to be. But I think I could have just stuck with this and finished it in one go. It was so compelling. I had to ration it to, to make it last, to, to, to extend the enjoyment. So Tobias Wolf, old school. I'm really recommending it.